Hey everybody, Josh Sheridan here with the Barely Legal Podcast. Hey, the man, my ego, but I won't go I, I'm overjoyed today because in the year that I've been doing this, I don't think I've had a bigger guest than today. Uh, on today's show, uh, you've seen them in California, Utah, Romania, and uh, now they're here in the Heights in Tampa. I got the monolith on the show today. How are you doing, monolith? I've been better. Yeah, I've been better, but it, it's uh, not bad. Yeah, you've been all over the all over the map lately. I mean, not on purpose. Yeah, I'm trying now, to be left the fuck alone. Is that what it you is? Keep, you, you keep on being, you know, identified and found. Is that what it is? You're actually trying to hide from people. I am. Yeah. Why else would I be in the middle of fucking nowhere in, well, in that park? Well, are you not afraid of COVID? Getting on the plane all the time, jumping around to these different how places. How the fuck do you know that I'm on a plane? Well, I don't you know. You don't know that I'm did, on a plane. I don't know how. To, <laughs> you don't know I'm on a plane. Do you have to wear a mask? Do I have a fucking mouth? I don't know. You're the do monolith. I have a nose? I don't know. I mean, you've seen pictures. Look, <laughs> look. We can talk about whatever you want. All okay. Right. I am not uh, a nice guy or an object or a thing. Or Are a you guy. a guy? I, I don't, don't know what know. I am. Hey, the how do you line, identify? I, I am a monolith. What bathroom do you use? I don't go to the bathroom. If you were to wrestle, what division would you wrestle in? I would say uh, midweight. Midweight, yeah. Midweight. Okay. But but the thing is this, probably Greco-Roman also. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mostly upper top. But the yeah. thing, But the thing is this. I, I I am honored to be on a on a show and discuss the plight of what's going on here. But let me just say I will not discuss where I came from. Okay. I will not discuss how I got here. So because that was a mighty big assumption that I get on a plane. I'm not discussing I'm sorry. any of this. They mean to offend you. And if I was not found at these certain locations, then I wouldn't even be here. Well, what are you running wanna, from? What am I running from? Uh-huh. Are you living in today's world? <laughs> Do you see is it a bad the, marriage or you, is it politics or what? It, well, the marriage went south a long time ago. Yeah. You know, she turned out to be a real piece of shit metal. Yeah. Yeah. What, was she like a fire hydrant or a basketball she hoop? She was an uncut what? gem. <laughs> rusted piece of shit. You know what I mean? Real rusted. How was Romania? Sucked. Did you run in any gypsies there? I thought that I can just hide out in like in, the, in one of these back alley places, but it didn't work out. Didn't work out. Now, you do know. you have to have a passport or... How does that work? Um, is this mic on? I just told you that Sorry. I would not tell you Sorry. how I travel. I don't. <laughs> this is unprecedented. I don't have. A, I, I don't have, have a. I will not tell you how I travel. All the, right. The, All right. The concept of what I am is beyond what humans can actually beyond believe. Beyond com- human comprehension. It is. All right. There's so much out there that you people don't know. Right. It's amazing. How I ended up here, I'm not going to say. But and what my purpose is here, I'm not going to say. But the bottom line is I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I'm extremely fucking disappointed. Who are you disappointed in? Uh, right now? Yeah. Mostly Americans. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, look what's going on Demise. here. I know. I, I see it. I see it. The demise. The downfall. The downfall. Well, maybe something better will rise up in its place. I don't know. No. I don't know. Now, is it true that you killed it in a cryptocurrency and that's how you're able to afford to travel? Okay. Listen. <laughs> You know, as far as cryptocurrency is concerned and how I travel and what I do, I am, yes, I am well off. There's Will you no release da- your tax there, returns? There's no, I don't have to. <laughs> okay. I don't have to. And I might say from our, our prestigious leader at this point, perhaps I'm under audit. You are. That's- per, perhaps I'm under audit and I don't have to release it. But the bottom line is I'm not going to let – I'll end this interview right now if we're going to discuss how this I got here and why I'm Can here. Can a monolith storm out? No, I can Not slither. Just disappear, slither. I can slither. Is that what you do? <laughs> I can slither. I don't know about storming. Now, I mean, now, someone told me, and I don't know if this is true, but while you're in Tampa, that you've been staying with Tom Brady. Can you confirm or deny that? I cannot confirm or deny, but you know, me and Giselle. I mean, yeah, yeah. The thing about a monolith is we can take many shapes and forms. We have no problems being erect. I mean, that's that's for sure. <laughs> like a fucking sheet of metal. <laughs> that's right. That's Hard right. like a sheet of metal. That's right. But at that, I'm not going to say, but I have been known to be a mirror. Okay. 
As you can see, I do reflect. You do reflect. You project and, a little bit too. Giselle likes looking at herself. So she likes looking at you. I got it. In the nude. She likes <laughs> posing in the nude. Now, I don't know so much about Brady. I'm not, I don't really, yeah. you know, that's not my thing, but. Giselle, yeah, she's 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 what <laughs> your type of deal. I don't know about my type of deal, but right. if I was to stay in Tampa, perhaps I may be one of the mirrors in that household. In that household. Now, uh, what are your thoughts on the Bucks getting a wild card? Do you think that's in the cards? Um, you know, that's are you funny. a Bucks fan? That's funny. That's funny. You know, I I'm a, I'm a, a sports fan. I'm a yeah. sports fan. Okay, I'm a sports fan. I don't know. Um, Yes, uh, way back in the day, and not getting into my creation or when I existed or sure. anything like this, but I was definitely put into the situation uh, with with the Jets' rise. Yeah. Okay, with Joe Namath, which is absolutely one of my heroes. The oh. guy's the coolest dude around. Not anymore. I'm a little disappointed. Did you used to party with him? Um, no comment. I've I've seen pictures of you and Judy, uh, Giuliani at like Studio Fifty Four. There's one floating around of you on Epstein's Island. I don't know. Like you had a. I've seen and done a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen and done a lot. I'm getting a little tired and long toothed, you know. <laughs> but uh, now I just kind of like do what I like to do. You know, as you get older. You kind of like pinpoint what you like right. and what you dislike. Right. I know exactly what I like. Yeah. So I don't need to like, you know, try different things and experiment and be places. And, and being a monolith, I can just show up. You got that out of your system. Right. So, you know, when I was found out in, in the desert there, unfortunately, that was basically my walkabout time. I right. wanted to be left the fuck alone. Right. For however long. Just, just figuring stuff out. Fucking bastards. Sorry, sorry. It's all right. Those liberals in California will get you every time. Eh, yeah. <laughs> well, they're having their problems. Now, is it true that you're part Jewish? Um, I am part of the chosen race. Yes. There's no doubt about it. Yes, you are too, right? I am. I'm. I'm. I'm not. I'm not as as completely Jewish as the monolith. Oh, but you're I you're in denial, man. I'm a, I'm a denier. You're in denial. I'm a different type anyway, of you look like a, I thought I'm here because I'm with a fellow Jew. Yeah, fellow. <laughs> Sheridan. Yeah. Sheridan. So tell me your theory on. on why Sheridan's you, a Jewish name. It's a Jewish name. Is it? Yes. Based on what? Based on all the Jews. All right. Are you circumcised? Look, man, I'm a piece of fucking metal. <laughs> I'm a piece of metal. All I right. take shapes of metal form. Yeah. Man, you do look very rabbinical, though. I do. I'm, my, I'm growing my sideburns out. So uh, tell me about Giuliani. Uh, he's a very big much disappointment. Yeah. Now, were you were you up in New York when he was the, the mayor of New York? Um. I was. I'm not going to say where I was. Okay, but you've got what some, I've done or, or how I. Exa I'm not going to say any of that. Sure, but I just want to know. I, do stuff. I know about him when he was was he was the mayor of New York? Sure. Do I know about him when you know after that and before that? Yes, I know about Giuliani. He's a disappointment. How do you He's explain him? He's a fucking him? lunatic. How do you explain him? Was he a I lunatic he, back then? Or? I think you know he might have some type of disease to the brain at this point, like a like a venereal disease or something. I think that, so. That's, if, I think part of the, a lot of like. I've been around, you know. Uh, Was it Nietzsche that got like my family yeah. of monoliths have been around for an a eternity. long time? Yeah. yeah, my ancestors. You may have heard of them. Do you know my ancestors? No, Stonehenge. Ha ha ha! Yeah, you know them. I do know them. Okay, so I, do know them. I, 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 we come from a very long line of people that observe things. Are they still around, or uh, we, we progress yeah. into metal yeah. now? So, um, but I, I'm not done with Giuliani. So. So you you think it's age or, or or dementia or it's really it's it's he's fucking crazy yeah, yeah. he's crazy now it's dementia um, I I don't understand how he is not locked up for what he's doing. Do you watch TV at all? Can you watch TV? I know you don't have eyes, but is that something that you've got? I can take on the waves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you see the uh, the testimony? What was it yesterday with the uh, lady from? Look, let me explain how it works. Okay. <laughs> if someone if someone shows something to You're me, very prickly today. Well. <laughs> First of all, I come here and you try to, you know, you're assuming that I fly in a plane. You're assuming that I wear a mask. You're not fucking Jewish. I mean, this is this is a big problem. This is a so big I, disappointment. It's a little big, a little bit of, I thought I was going to see a fellow Jew. But right, anyway, right. you know, 
the way that he is operating and the way that he is doing things, it only stands to reason that he is fucking crazy. And I think it might be syphilis. Yeah, syphilis. That that makes sense. Speaking of syphilis, Jeff Epstein, uh, did he kill himself? Uh, no. No? No. Who do you think did it? I have firsthand knowledge. You do? Yes. Where were you on the night in question? They can't say. Can't say. All I know. There's a bunch of metal bars around him is all I'm going to say. Right. Right. So, I mean, let's let's face it. There's missing videotape, and he knew a lot. Yeah, yeah. He knew a lot, and he knew a lot of famous and powerful people that liked small children. Right. So, no, I don't think he uh, he killed himself. Now, I think we need to move on from the Epstein situation because um, he's dead. Let it lay. He's dead. Yeah. What What's the girlfriend's name? Not oh, the girlfriend's name. The no, one that's the, in the, prison right yeah, now. The facilitator. Not prison, the jail. Oh, God. Yeah, she's got some issues. Yeah. So, speaking of little kids, do you have any little fence posts running around? Do you? Um, uh, they're, they're grown. Yeah. They're, they're, grown. they're out in the world. Yeah. I don't have a particular age. No. No. Okay. All With right. that rusty piece of shit that, yeah, you know, <laughs> that ru- we had some baby nails. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, with monoliths, we're very selfish individuals. So it's kind of like, you know, uh, I don't know whatever type of race you want to equate it to. But once they're out of the nest, that's it. I don't give a fuck. That's they're on their own. I don't give a fuck. That's right. I don't have to pay child support. I don't have to pay alimony because I'm a piece of metal. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So if they want to go, you know, sit on a railroad track and be flattened and do their thing, whatever they need to do, that's their prerogative. I don't care. Uh, talking further I about- I have no feelings. You have no feelings. <laughs> clearly, clearly you're a very unemotional I have person. zero feelings. So- uh, ve- I observe. You observe. Speaking of observing and disappointments, can we talk politics a little bit? Absolutely. All right. So one of the big questions that has come up recently is whether or not uh, Trump should be prosecuted uh, once he's out of office. Do you have any feelings on that? <clears throat> well, I think that he should uh, pardon himself. Okay. Absolutely pardon himself. Okay. And, Kids too. And just, uh, he should pardon everybody and they should disappear. Right. I think there should be some back door agreement. Enough of the, the prosecutions that cost millions and whatever amount of money. Um, we all know that he is very slippery. There's no doubt about it. He knows how to play the game. He's fucking slippery. If he was a monolith... He'd be probably one of the best slippery motherfucking Mon- monoliths <laughs> around. But the problem is he thinks and feels too much. Now, I think he feels and thinks too much about himself, but he still has these emotions. You right. know what I mean? Like yeah. if a monolith would lose the election, like he lost Never it. Never see him again. We fucking, yeah. I mean, go to the fucking desert. Right. Go, right. go to somewhere where you can reach serenity and peace for serenity a little bit now. Yeah. and come out again. Right. You know, but he doesn't right. want to do that. Right. So if, if he, if there's no back door agreement that can say, all right, we're not going to prosecute you because you're stupid fucking preemptive pardon. Yeah. Okay. If they can't have that and it goes to his head that he wants to still plant seeds in the racists and the right wing crazy people. Then yeah, he he needs to be prosecuted, and his time needs to be basically absorbed by fighting these prosecutions. Right, right. But right. if a back door agreement can or back something agreement can be reached, just go away, man. Right. Go away. Right. Go to fucking Russia. But do you think he can live outside the public eye? I don't think he he can do it. He can live in Russia. He's the absence of a monolith. He can be. He can live in Russia. He can get pissed on there, yeah. you know, and everything that he enjoys to do and be done. As a monolith, have you ever been pissed on? Oh, my God. This is a big problem. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. And I, it's like, hey, hey. It's like it's not- <laughs> drunks, dogs. I mean – I've been pissed on by the best of them. The worst, <laughs> the worst was a giraffe. Really, giraffe piss because that it was like a fucking waterfall Fire on the, yeah. the top of my you know little metal piece. Yeah, that's my most sensitive part. You rust up there at all? That's the most Is sensitive it, that's part. That's your little. Yeah, I like to give head. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah. And I like getting head. Yeah. You know, so when I get pissed on up there, that was the worst. Very so disrespectful. The, the giraffe piss isn't bad, but you know, a little dog piss and stuff like that is annoying. Yeah. But that giraffe piss. That's, that's So you can imagine where I was at that point. Serengeti. 
Uh, what about Biden? How do you feel about Biden? Do you think he's going to be any different? Do you think his first hundred days are going to be remarkable? What do you see happening in Georgia? What are we What are we looking at? There? I don't know if we can get Trump out of the White House. So the yeah. first hundred days might be trying to get him out of the White House. You think he's going to? You think he's going to push it as past? a as a as a uh, monolith? You know, um, one time I was situated in a place where I was able to watch uh, HBO. Okay, and uh, Bill Maher. You know, he's been saying it all along that he won't leave. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It seems like it's caving in on him. You got you got Bill Barr, you know, turning code on him. Evidently he wants to fire him now. And, you know, they're they're resorting to like ladies with updos talking about, you know, ballots being snuck in uh, catering trucks and all that sort of stuff. Oh yeah, or what is it? North Korea bringing Roger in? Stone. Yeah, Roger Stone. Speaking of monoliths, he, Roger Stone. He's yeah. one of my heroes. Yeah, he he mm-hmm. uh, he's I think related to the people back in Stonehenge. You see, we kind of like we kind of like respect people that are are kind of I think he likes know, to be pissed on too. He so does. Uh, he does. We respect people kind of like a little Roger Stoneish, you know, yeah. he does have that that last name Stone. Yeah. So anyone with the name Stone or some type of metal, you identify know. with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, Steel Stone, yeah. Steel dossier, Roger Stone. Yeah. I'm starting to see how kind of how you've worked your way through the system. Yeah, here. yeah. Um, so no, ch- well, you said children, but they're they're off your tab now. Uh, is it true that you had some issues with drugs in the 70s? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. What was your drug of choice? Oh man, I was I was an up guy. Yeah, I, you know, could you like literally cocaine. do coke off of yourself? I could. Yeah, just a nice hard reflective well, surface. Yeah, you got to understand. I you know I can kind of like you know bend to when no one's around. You can only like move when no one's around. Well, no one sees my actions. Really. Yeah, yeah. You know, right now you imperceptible. Are, you you can describe to your audience what you're seeing. I'm, I mean, basically, I'm a piece of metal. Yeah. You know, so what I when I do my things, it's usually in, in private. Are you so able like to when I was partying, bi-locate or tri-locate? Are you in other places right now too? Oh my god, dude! I how many times I got to tell okay, you? I'm sorry. I, you, I just want to know. Fuck the you, man! Know. I'll end this. I'll end this thing right now. <laughs> All right, I just gotta you want to talk about you know my cocaine days? We can do that. I party with the best of them. Who did you party with? Oh my god. I, you know, I'm not going to name names, but Jagger, uh, I already Richards. told you that Joe Namath was one of my heroes. Joe Namath. Do you see that schnoz? Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, that could, that could do some damage. Oh, my God. <laughs> Purely jest, though. I don't want to be sued by him. Yeah. It's all in jest. Now- but Yeah, Keith uh, Richards. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and you were in film there for a little bit, too. I think I I've see, saw you in a- What was that Kubrick film that you were in? Uh, 2001. How was that? I was working with Kubrick. I don't know if I was there. No. I mean, I'm not are there more of you, or is there more than just one monolith? There are copies. Okay. Kubrick. Kubrick might have. Was it a stunt monolith? A, it might have been. Okay. Because I don't recall being in that movie. Yeah. But they're like the whole seventies, eighties, and early nineties. You don't, don't recall that anyway. No. There's yeah. a lot of a lot of cocaine and hallucinogenics. Right, right, right. You know, being a piece of metal and hallucinating mm-hmm. on on peyote in the middle of the desert. Did you ever experience that's some with, scary fucking shit right there? Did you ever experience with like uh, experiment with like same sex monoliths or anything like that? No, but no. Did, did, there's. But you're willing to try. You see, what we're trying to discuss here is you're talking about human race. Sorry, male, female. You know, you're you're identifying that yeah. way. We don't I, identify. We're just pieces of metal. Right. That's all we are. How do you have? So, am I having same sex? Yeah, I'm having same sex with with same metal. How does with how, the metal? How does it have intercourse? How does a monolith have intercourse? We can sh- change forms. Okay. Now I already told you, my head is can very you like sensitive. vibrate or do anything. Oh like yeah, that? man. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Now you know the best thing was when. <laughs> You know, for the human race, yeah. I'd have to say that I am attracted to the female portion of the human race. Sure. Okay. But, you know, when I vibrate, you kind of yeah. like if someone starts playing music, yeah. then I'll start vibrating. Okay. And then the lady can sit on me. Oh, my God. There's those like little bunny ears that come out. Oh, and, my God. Yeah, they stuff. They fucking love it. Yeah. Yep. They love – they invented some sex machines based on what we used to do to them. So I know you're a busy monolith and you got a big weekend lined up ahead of you. Uh, what do you have planned for the weekend? Well, I think I'm going to like find a nice quiet spot and just, you know, 
stand just, there. Just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <What> do you... <laughs> so, uh, gonna, I mean, I think the weekend, you know, as far as the, the beach is concerned, sometimes I like to stand down there. But then, you know, the the sun gets, you know, yeah, a little, little, hot. especially in Florida. But right. it's a nice time of year. I'll maybe stand down there. Uh, Ebor's got some good spots. Um, you know. You got to be careful in Ebor because people start putting stickers on you and tagging yeah, you and all do. that kind of stuff. They do. Yeah. Yeah. But the best is when they're they're really, you know, I don't like to talk in, in, in public. Right. But when they start being assholes, I say, hey, you know. <laughs> scare the shit they, out of them. Jump back and they're like, what the fuck? Uh, before you go, is there anything you want to tell the American people or the listeners or people in general? Any messages just for society? Yeah. I mean, we all start needing to be nice to one another. Yeah. This is fucking bullshit. I mean, I'm an I'm a angry fucking monolith, and that's why I was in the middle of the desert. I thought I would just be left alone right. until this whole thing passed. Right. From the COVID to Trump to everyone. But no, I was found. Yeah. So let me just say this. Everyone needs to wear their, f- wear their fucking mask. Yeah. Wait till this vaccine comes out. Quit pissing on metal pieces. You don't know who who's behind that metal. You understand? Use the fucking toilet. We're not porcelain. Porcelains are little bitches. Okay? Don't piss on metal. I'm serious. That's fucking bullshit. And absolutely don't shit on metal. You, I've seen that. Does that happen? Oh, yeah. To you? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Squirted right on me. Oh, God. <laughs> you got to stay out of like the uh, Latino countries where people are eating you a know? lot of like beans and legumes and uh, I mean, spicy foods. The problem that we're having right now is, is there's a lot of unknown. Yeah. And I think, you know, Biden, he's not a bad man. Uh, he's going to surround himself with some good people. Um, I know that I will probably at some point position myself uh, near the White House you could be on his cabinet. Uh, you could even hold up his cabinet, I, like his actual I, physical I cabinet. Yeah. I can be one of his shelves. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I can be a shelf. I can be his mirror. I don't want to be his mirror. No. Absolutely not. Kamala, yeah. maybe. You know? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. And you know who she's married to? No. A Jew. Yeah. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yeah. A brother. Yeah, that's brother. right. All a right. fellow brother. But yeah, I wish everybody to just be cool through the holiday season, mask up, keep your party small, and like I said, once again, quit pissing so on my- metal. Thank you so much, Monolith. It's been a pleasure having you by. Hopefully, you'll come back sometime. I don't know if I'll come back. Uh- you going to convert? I'll convert. I'll convert. <laughs> that was easy. You could probably help circumcise me right now. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Absolutely you, are you? Not. Are you? Can, can you be hired for brisses? <laughs> not for brisses. Okay. Not for brisses. All right. No. Thank I'm you not. so much, Monolith. I really appreciate it. You got it. All right. See you later. 